I have the distinct pleasure now of interviewing former U.S. Surgeon General Dr. David Satcher. And you, I think, have such a unique perspective on the issue we have been discussing, which is becoming the healthiest nation in one generation. And it seems like such a great challenge. What do you think are the most important steps to try to reaching that goal? Well, I, th I think the most important steps to, to reaching the goal of becoming the healthiest nation in the world is to really deal with our internal issues of equity. I think as long as we um, have such variations in health outcome, such uh, disparities in health in this country, we can never be the healthiest country in the world. So now globally, as you know, the World Health Organization has as a goal global health equity. But, um, and the United States has the resources to lead that. But in order to do it, we've got to deal with our internal challenges of equity. And that is, I think, the biggest challenge, this whole concept of access to care. Yeah. In that vein, what do you think are the most important determinants to health? And the second part of that question, I guess, would be how can APHA and people in the public health sector help to address those? Well, if I had to list the, the three or four most important determinants of health, um, I, would, um, I would list education, income, access to quality health care. And that's, we fall short on all of those, but certainly uh, we are one of the nations, one of the few nations in the world that does not assure universal access to care, where people have to worry about whether they have enough money to pay for their health care. We don't take health care as seriously as a lot of other countries do in terms of making sure that if we're going to be a healthy nation, everybody has to have access to health care. But, and, and once you get beyond that, then you have to start worrying about the social determinants. You know, poverty is a major barrier to quality health. Poverty is a major barrier. So when I say income and education, those are critical issues for equity of access to health care. Absolutely. You talk about education. How can we partner with medical schools and physicians to try to really address some of these issues? Well, um, I come from a medical school, the Morehouse School of Medicine, which has as its mission the whole issue of creating and advancing health equity. And so I think what we need is for physician, uh, for medical schools to really set as a goal playing a key role in bringing about health equity in our society and educating our students to the importance of that, that whatever you do, wherever you go, uh, we need you to be committed to health equity. Sometimes you contribute to that by going to co communities that do not now have access to health care. So I mean, I think that's, that's how we can contribute. We've got to educate, we've got to do research and answer questions that have not been answered about how to improve health. But all of these things go together. One thing we haven't discussed, but something I know you're very active in talking about is the issue of violence and what a plague it is in our society right now, but also the move to try to get that as a health issue, that seeing violence as a health threat. Violence is a health issue, and the CDC has for years uh, defined it as a major public health issue and also defined strategies, a public health approach to violence prevention. Uh, you get back to the social determinants of health, you know, after income and education, safety is right up there. If you live in a community where it's not safe to get out and walk in the morning because it's so violent, you're not going to be healthy. And you are not also not going to get out there and walk for 30 to 60 minutes. So we have a lot of communities in this country where families don't have uh, access to safe places to be physically active. They don't have parks. They don't have safe streets, including sidewalks, that you can walk on. So unless you have safe communities, uh, you're not going to have uh, those kinds of behaviors that contribute to good health. These are all such critical issues. Dr. Yeah. David Satcher, thank you so much. Delighted to be with you.